Hi everyone, Chad Elms with the Office of Procurement Services. Today we're going to be going over detailed instructions for Repro Graphics and BidSync. Uh, first off, we're going to start with Department Instructions. Uh, these are the instructions for the agency as they put the vendor uh, bid together. Um, from BidSync, I've started with Create Bid. I created the bid and here is our second page with a task order. As you can see this is a bid revision for me because I already created this. So you're not going to see this or the assigned bid sync number. Moving down I have put in our bid duration for two weeks. Um, again that's up to you. Proof requested. I'm not allowing alternative offers for the bid. Uh, that is up to you. My bid answer uh, question and answer duration period is stopping short of two days before my bid is going to be awarded or rather closes for um, bidding. I'm not going to use a pre-conference on this bid. I am going to change contract renewal to not applicable. This is a one-time purchase. Prices are good for 30 days. Budget amounts are $500. Estimated amount is $500 and uh, you will not have a bid number in here until you've saved your bid here. My bid title, I'm saying that this bid is going to be for the Board of Supervisors and it's a brochure. Bid comments are going to be taken from the Reprographics Task Order Instructions. You'll find those towards the bottom. They're going to be your vendor instructions. Simply copy and paste these into your bid sync bid comments here. You'll see that I already added a line for one line item. Uh, moving down to documents, I have attachments that are pre-selected in here. We want you to uncheck attachment A and attachment C leaving only BidSync electronic submission instructions. Then you will upload your P-Stub and your sample. Let's go to our P-Stub and make sure everything is filled out correctly. We have date at the top. We have who is ordering it. We have a date input, who it was input by, who's requesting it, the address, the date that it's needed, phone number, BOS brochure is our title. This is going to match what we saved this print stub as. We want 1,000 copies. There are two originals because this is a two-sided document. Our finish size is 8.5 by 11. Our sample is attached as a PDF. We want this on regular 20-pound paper. It's going to be printed in color. It will be two-sided, head to head, and we're folding it as a Z-fold, getting it delivered wrapped in 100s. We've put a note in here saying that any, I'm going to browse out to, you're going to need to We'd like this to be a Z-fold brochure. We want it wrapped in 100s. And we've put information in here about where the vendors can go to see an original. OK, I'm going to save this. File, save as, PDF. I'm going to put it on my desktop. And instead of Maricopa County P-Stub, I'm going to name it BOS Brochure. When I go back to BidSync, I'm going to upload this document, browse out to my desktop, BOS brochure PSTUB, open, upload file, and I'm done. You see we have one upload here. We're going to upload our original. 
which is named the same thing, VOS brochure. And we're done with that. Now we've got both of our attachments, our P-stub and our brochure. We're going to keep moving on to classification. On our instruction sheet, we're going to use the classification print. We're going to do that by adding the classification here. Click on select classifications, print, search, and scroll down to print on demand printing services, add selected, and close that window. It's going to appear here in this window. You only need one classification because this is not going out to public bid and we're not inviting other vendors. To that end, we are inviting only the vendors that we've added to the Maricopa County Repro list. We're going to select that required vendor qualification as seen here on our instruction sheet. And then we have to add those vendors. Adding those vendors will require that we mark this a private bid and then click on invite vendors. Following along with our instructions, we've checked that this is private and we're inviting vendors. Next we're going to add the vendors from the Repographics contract list. Here's choosing private bid, inviting vendors on the vendor page, scroll down to the qualification section of the Marico Maricopa County on our instruction sheet we're going to invite vendors and scroll down to the Maricopa County Repographics contract list section. We've simplified this process uh, removing all of the vendors from these qualifications that are numbered and placing them into one qualification. This is the only qualification that you need for all of your Repographics jobs outside of business cards. Business cards is a different process and not part of this process. However, any business forms, high-speed copy, offset, uh, or envelopes will be ordered using this qualification only. We're going to click search and scroll down to the bottom we're going to change our results per page to 25 we're going to select visible and click add once you see the vendors up here you're going to click return to editing and notice that all your vendors have been added under the vendor section last thing to do is click save bid and remember that your bid is not released. It is currently in held bids. You can go see your held bids by clicking on source, view bids, and it's going to take you to held bid. You'll still need to ready and release your bids so that they get out onto the street. You'll then find those in the to be awarded bid screen. If you have questions about BidSync, head to our EBC portal under technology and training. You will find BidSync instructions. These are labeled Quick Quote instructions. They work the same for task orders and include task order information. You'll find instructions on the entire process from creating a bid through Bid Award. If you have other Repographics questions or concerns or BidSync questions or concerns, don't hesitate to contact myself or Pedro Rodriguez. Thank you and we appreciate your time.